Look, as a young dude, most guys don't put too much emphasis in their grooming routine, not understanding that the effort you put in the morning into your personal hygiene will have a dramatic effect, not only on how confident and good you feel, but also on how great you look. Today, boys, I'm gonna show you what every young guy should be doing in their grooming routine. Let's hop into this. Rule number one, you need to have a separate shampoo and conditioner. That means no two-in-ones, no three-in-ones, no five-in-ones. Yes, it might seem efficient, but you gotta understand that you're not getting the job done like it's supposed to be. Take a shampoo and conditioner. Those two have totally different objectives. A shampoo is meant to strip away things. A conditioner, it's meant to add or nourish. You cannot have both in one because you're gonna have a subpar item that's not giving you the results that you need and it'll be over drying and damaging your hair. So it's time for grown man moves and you should always have a shampoo, a conditioner, and a body wash separately. Two, replace that toothbrush head every three months. This is not Jose saying this. This is the ADA, the American Dental Association telling you this. See, your toothbrush starts collecting a bunch of bacteria and dirt. On top of that, the bristles start weakening after those two to three months of usage. So what ends up happening is that now you have weak bristles that aren't actually cleaning off that plaque and that dirt buildup, while also you have dirty bristles that are adding back bacteria and dirt into your mouth, which ends up causing bad breath. So every three months, once you see those bristles starting to fray, that's your cue, you gotta replace that toothbrush. Three, have a standard scent. If you're a young dude and you don't have a good fragrance, you already are losing. You need to understand a fragrance that has the power to uplift you and uplift those around you. When you smell good, you feel good, and others want to be around you more often because it's just pleasurable. You'll be the dude that's always smelling good. And the compliments, by the way, this is the easiest way to get compliments from a girl without even trying. Like, you're not even putting an effort. You just added a few sprays in the morning, especially if the fragrance is a freaking home run like ours from Santa Lucia. Like, look, yes, I'm a little biased because, well, I designed the fragrance, but you need to understand your boy has a collection of, I don't even know, I've probably gone through different bottles of fragrances. I know what smells good, what lasts long. And what ended up happening is that I wanted a collection of fragrance that was easy for guys to not only have something for every occasion, but also access high-end perfume. See, when I started getting into high-end fragrances, I'm talking your three, four, five hundred dollar bottle fragrances, I couldn't look back. The scents were insane, they were more unique, they lasted longer, but the one thing I didn't like was the price point. $500 for a bottle of fragrance, that's expensive. I wanted to be able to give you access to high-end parfums without you having to break the bank. That's why Santa Lucia was birthed. See, Santa Lucia, especially our new dark collection, it was designed and sourced from France. So our fragrance house in France, which France is the fragrance capital of the world, sources its oils from France, from Italy. We're talking some of the best oils in the world. And then we make our fragrances at a 21% concentration, which makes it a parfum, meaning that we use 21% oil and the rest, which is 79% is alcohol. You need to understand that most fragrances that you buy usually are, are like seven, eight, nine percent oil. The oil is what smells good. The oil is what makes you smell good. Everything else, the alcohol evaporates. That's why usually cheaper fragrances that are mostly alcohol have like a synthetic scent to it. Our Santa Lucia fragrance, any room you step into, you're just gonna smell like money. Boys, there is a reason why this collection is one of our best-selling collections. This dark collection, bro, the three fragrances that come in this collection, you have something for every occasion. And the best part is, if you buy the entire set, you get $150 off, plus free shipping and free returns if you live in the US. If you guys wanna check out our dark collection, it'll be linked down below. Number four, cut your nails. Yo, this is basic. Look, I don't know why your mom never told you to do this, but I'm telling you, your girlfriend, she's looking at your hands, or your potential future would-be girlfriend is looking at your hands, but you probably fumbled the bag because them fingernails are looking dirty, bro. She ain't gonna want you to touch her if your fingernails are full of dirt and they're longer than hers. Number five, use a sunscreen. Again, this is one of those steps most young guys don't do. I guarantee you, shoot, if you're under 30, bro, you probably don't have a good sunscreen in your bathroom. And then you start caring about sunscreen. Once you're 35, 40, you start seeing them wrinkles and think, oh, I gotta protect myself against the sun. No, you gotta protect yourself against the sun now. 
The earlier you do this, the better your skin's gonna look. Then you're gonna start aging 20, 21, 25, 27, 30, and you're gonna look like you're not even putting on years because you're protecting your skin from the harmful rays which end up causing those fine lines and wrinkles. Number six, use eye cream. Similar to sunscreen, this is a step that most young guys are skipping and I think for young guys it's crucial. You gotta think about it. Young guys are the ones that are partying all the time. We're the ones that aren't sleeping enough. We're the ones that aren't taking care of our body. So what ends up happening, you end up getting these puffy eyes that look tired and obviously destroy your attractiveness. This is why a good eye cream or an eye roller is essential. You put this on in the mornings, usually the ones that I use have like some sort of a minty or eucalyptus type of ingredient which brighten up your eyes, it reduces the swelling of the puffiness and you look refreshed. Which ultimately rolls us on to number seven, use a tongue scraper. Crucial, crucial. If you've ever smelled your breath or you think you have bad breath, it's probably because you're not cleaning your tongue. Most people forget to clean their tongue. They'll floss, they'll brush their teeth, they'll forget to actually scrape down their tongue. And I'm not just talking about a quick brush. I'm talking about if you have any white stuff on your tongue, that's dirt buildup, food, bacteria that you haven't cleaned for probably weeks. Most bad breath, like 90% of bad breath is coming from your tongue and the best way to remove that is with a tongue scraper. And that's basically it for this week's video guys. Those are seven essential grooming tips every young guy must follow. That's it for your boy. See you next time.